What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick comparison between the Google suite of apps or the Google Workspace and the Microsoft suite, that's the Microsoft 365. So let's get right to it. First of all, both of them are pretty great for the business. They offer lots of intuitive and professional tools to manage your business, to, count, uh, to uh, collaborate with your teams, to share your work and to have like online meetings, the uh, video, and you have also apps to manage documents, spreadsheets and uh, presentations, as well as calendars and so much more. So first of all, you want to consider the pricing. So if we take a look at the prices for the Google suites of apps, so the Google workspace, you can try it for free for 14 days. And after this, you have the least plan or the least expensive plan is the business starter. That's $6 per user per month. So these prices are per user per month. So here you have the business starter. It will give you uh, a custom and secure business email. You can uh, have up to 100 participants in a video meetings via Google Meet. And here you have 30 gigabytes of storage per person. And the next one is the business, which is $12 a month and then business plus and the enterprise, which is uh, like uh, can be customized based on your business. So that's the pricing for the Google workspace. Now, on the other hand, the Microsoft 365 uh, suite offers you uh, two types of plans. So here you have for business, you have the Microsoft 365 basics, that's $6 per user per month. And you can try for free for one month though so that's an advantage they give you uh, a longer trial here you have up to 300 employees you have a custom business email you have also uh, web and mobile versions of word excel powerpoint and outlook you have one terabyte of cloud storage per employee so that's another advantage they give you a much larger or much bigger cloud storage and here you can view all the benefits of the each of each of the plans as well. So uh, on the Google as well, you can compare the benefits of each plan to select which one is best for you. The prices are somehow similar uh, for the basic uh, plan. And then they have also the, the Microsoft have the business standard Microsoft 365 business premium and then the apps for business. So um, here that's for business for home. You have uh, two types of home subscription. You have here the Microsoft 365 family. That's $99.99 a year and the 365 personal that's $69.99 per year. So that's for one person. And here you can view uh, the benefits of each of the plans. So for example, for uh, the personal, they give you uh, up to five devices and one terabyte of cloud storage. And if you choose to pay monthly, that'll be for personal $6.99 a month and for the family $9.99 a month. So the prices are somewhat similar. However, one big advantage of the Microsoft Suite or the Microsoft 365 is that they give you offline versions of their apps. So you have an online version of Word, Excel and like OneNote, PowerPoint and so on. So that is a great advantage if you are uh, using your laptop or your computer in a place where there is no network coverage or the internet like is down or something like that. So you can use or edit and view the documents without the need of internet. However, in the Google workspace, you have to be online or uh, you have to have an internet connection to use and uh, view and edit all your documents on like Google Docs and view your spreadsheets on Google Sheets and stuff like that. So that's uh, one thing to consider if you are like traveling a lot to places where you do not have an internet connection and uh, second of all uh, video meeting you have uh, for the google workspace you have the google meet video conferencing service and for the microsoft you have the microsoft team video conferencing service uh, video conferencing uh, service as well so uh, both of them offer like uh, video uh, meeting uh, capabilities so if you want uh, or you have a big team and you are doing video conferences all the time, you cannot go wrong with any of them. So um, one other thing is collaboration. So if you have, you collaborate a lot with your team, 
the collaboration and um, sharing option in the Google workspace are much better. So you can assign uh, other people to your like uh, Google Docs. So if you wanna collaborate with someone of on your team with a, on a document to edit it and view it, you can uh, share the document and assign them to edit the document or the Google Sheets much, much easier than on Microsoft. So if flexibility of collaboration with your team members is an ad or is a must for you, then the advantage here uh, goes to Google Workspace. Um, another advantage of Google Workspace is that many of the uh, apps or like most of the apps provided in the Google Workspace suite, so like uh, uh, Gmail, my, uh, Google Drive, uh, Google Meet, and the uh, document uh, editing suite like Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google uh, Slides are available absolutely for free. So if you sign up to a Gmail account you for free, absolutely free, you can use all or most of these apps for free, absolutely free, as you wish of course you'll use them online through your google uh, drive so you can view and edit documents on google docs google you can use uh, spreadsheets uh, google sheets to edit and create spreadsheets and uh, so much more on your google drive however there are some limitations like for the online storage size and the capabilities that you can use on the free uh, version so the google workspace the paid uh, google workspace offers you much more business capabilities, so professional tools and uh, stuff like that to, so that it's better suited for your business if you have a business or you have a large team that you are collaborating with. So that was like a quick overview uh, or comparison between the two of them, so the Google Workspace and the Microsoft 365. So to sum it up, if yeah, like working offline is a great uh, benefit for you, then you are better off with the Microsoft 365. However, if collaboration with your team members is the top priority for you, then the Google Workspace is the better option right here. Of course, you can go ahead and get a free trial for both of them to try them for yourself and see which one is best for you. However, in the end of the day, as I told you, you cannot go wrong with any of the two platforms, both are great at managing your business, your teams, collaboration with your teams, editing your documents, organizing your meetings, your uh, like tasks on their calendar, uh, having video conferencing and managing your uh, online storage. So on Google, you have Google Drive and on Microsoft, you have the uh, OneDrive service to store all your data and your files. So basically they are both great business suites and it comes down to your preference and which features you value the most in your business suite.